these are the live things here. Um, live, live view of Fort McMurray. Sorry, I, I'm distracted here by something else. So Highway 63 North, we're on right now. We're headed into Fort McMurray, and the black cloud. You know, um, it is hard to say right now if if it has extended. This means that the smoke is just here, or if it means that the fire is in the community, but. not much to say whether it's a pretty scary situation for everyone you know you got people on the other side of the road um, who are trying to get away uh, others you know for, basically from the south end you know that's one of the communities the Gregoire the Prairie Creek and where we were near the airport that would be an area where you'd you want also want to get away from but then as you head north too you, you might get into a different evacuation area as well so I, okay yeah no I got it here Lauren thank Oh, and it's... It's not working. Latency too high. I think we're back here. I, I know my phone, we're just using uh, some technology on my cell phone. Uh, so we're we're stuck in the traffic here. <laughs> Highway 63 and, uh, you know, you've got the cloud of of smoke uh it it is it's pretty incredible um uh, like i was saying a bit earlier we think that um at least i saw and my photographer lauren and i uh saw that uh, you know there there was some extension it looked like the fire had spread at least to the beacon hill part of uh, fort mcmurray M maybe not on a large scale but there was um some grass around a cell phone tower close to the shaw fort mcmurray office that had kind of started up we did see fire crews going to that general area so uh, hopefully they were able to put that out but i think this cloud is just getting so intense it's so hot likely that you know some of those embers are falling um people in fort mcmurray downtown trying to get out you see that the traffic on the other side but then of course we're going into the valley here the same uh, a couple of cars in front of us is the is our global edmonton satellite truck we were uh set up with that uh, vehicle at the oil sands discovery site and uh, if anyone's been to Fort McMurray and um, so that we, we just wanted to basically pull it out of there uh, that would be close to a, an evacuation area if, if there was one and um, obviously we don't want to leave that piece of equipment there uh, one for that operator safety, but uh, two, uh, you know, we want to be able to tell this story. So I want to make sure that we can keep this this satellite truck going. Uh, you know, cell phones. Uh, you know, a lot of people are on cell phones, um, and so maybe that may go. Uh, I'm gonna pause a second. I think I'm having some problems with not enough coverage uh, as I as I talk about cell phone coverage here. Again, to re reiterate, you know, we had a we had a briefing this morning at about 11 a.m. downtown at the mayor's office, and they, you know, had told us, despite it looking clearer this morning and not as much smoke, that the conditions were just so uh, perfect for it to flare up if they got the right conditions. And you know, what they were fearful of is one, the temperature. Uh, our our vehicle says it's 31, 31 outside right now. Um, and so it's hot. I mean, usually it's not this hot in, in May in Fort McMurray. Um, and, and the humidity is very low. So that was the big kind of recipe. And then their also big worry was the wind. This morning the winds were coming from the southeast and it was essentially pushing the fire away from the community of Fort McMurray despite it being about double in size compared to where it was um, uh, basically about 24 hours ago, which was only about 1,300. Um, hectares uh, last night uh, and this morning it was surveyed at about 2600 hectares and they had worried that if, if those winds switched and would come from a more southwesterly direction that it would fan and flare up that fire to to Fort McMurray and maybe go a little bit more to the northwest edges of it. if you're familiar wood and I apologize if he's not always the greatest but look at look at this shot as I'm into the valley here um, it's pretty scary, and you—you you really, uh, I don't know. 
if anyone knows Fort McMurray, I don't know where anyone's going because you can go downtown, and that's the downtown area. As you go north, that is the you know the the mine sites. But uh, this is a real scary situation, and everyone's reacting to a certain extent to see wh where where they should go, what they should do. Our satellite truck is pulling off here, so we might stick with Dean Twardzik as our operator from Global Edmonton. Lauren, you, we're going to follow that. Um, uh, to be honest, it, it might be worthwhile, uh, you know, maybe we might just stay here. Uh, we don't want to cause any, you know, obviously traffic on the road here, but... Um, I'll just let everyone kind of take this in as, as we, and you see a chopper there in the sky. To my uh, producer, uh, Mark Blanchard, I uh, got your text messages and I am doing that, copy that. Um, apologize everyone from home. Is that Mark? Hey Mark. Bit of mic issues here. But we is it, like pull it out and put it back. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to put this. Continuing here, I'm, I'm trying to get some communication from my colleague Fletcher Kent and photographer Cam Cook. Are uh, Lauren? Can you just see? Are, are they okay? Have you? Is there any messages to that extent? No, I haven't seen any. Okay, it's fine. Your mic okay. Sorry, I know there's some hum, but it is tight in there, so I. Dean, can you can you get Dean's attention by honking? Okay. Mark Blanchard, I apologize. Honk at Dean. Stop here. Satellite truck is, is there. It is. Uh, you know, I uh, don't know what else to say. Uh, you know that that is bad. Uh, that's about as bad as they think. You know the officials. Where is he going? Um, where are you heading? I have no. Okay, you were given directions to do that. Okay. So we're just figuring figuring we're out where. Right behind you, so we'll, uh, we're all good. Is this where we're going? Okay. So we're just we're just going downtown. You see all that. Yeah. Um. Basically, I oh, think we need to set up somewhere so we can start uh, feeding and. Uh, Transmit back for the global national shift. Are you good to what? What about let, let's go let's let's go to uh, the Tim Hortons. Keep on going. Keep, let us get in front of him. Sorry, everyone, if you're live streaming, uh, 
we're just going to try to get in front of the... Just tell him to follow us and get him...